Hi guys, welcome to Nyonya Cooking. In this episode, we are attempting a Malaysian dessert or a Nyonya dessert and this is how to prepare pulut hitam or black glutinous rice. The texture is like porridge but it is really hearty because of the coconut milk. And if you know coconut milk, everything with coconut milk goes really well. So I know you're gonna love this recipe because it is also one of my favorite recipes or dessert, uh, Malaysian dessert. So without further ado, we will look at the ingredients and the first one that we will need would be black glutinous rice coconut milk i'm going to use two types of sugar here and this will be rock sugar and also palm sugar now if you do not have any of this feel free to use uh, raw sugar or just plain white sugar will do um, of course to add some aroma fragrance we will need pandan leaves i've knotted them two of them and also some water the steps to prepare this favorite dessert of mine is just too simple and you will not forget it after having me showing it to you. Here I have this glutinous rice which I've already soaked overnight and all we need to do is just pour the water into the pan. And also add the glutinous rice. Once you see this boiling, it's time to add the pandan leaves. So let this simmer and at low heat, if you look at the glutinous rice at this point of time, you'll see that it has not puffed up or it has not expanded. So we are going to let this simmer at low heat until it expands and I'm going to show you later how it looks like. As for the sugar, we're going to add it at the end of the cooking process because this is uh, how we can control the sweetness of the dessert later on. Um, I'm going to let this cook for a while, do its thing and come back to it later. After boiling for about 30 minutes now, the um, glutinous rice is already puffed up. So this is how it looks like. Uh, all we need to do now is to stir in the sugar and I am going to add it bit by bit because less is more. As you can see, the consistency is a bit thicker than previously. Uh, it's because of the starch from the glutinous rice. Now, if you soak the glutinous rice for too long, you will notice that the starch would then be lost. So therefore, you wouldn't get this kind of thickness when you cook this dessert. You can always add corn flour if you want. And I like it to be slightly thicker than usual. That's why I added a bit of corn flour too. Uh, otherwise, you can also have it without corn flour. Uh, what I like about this dessert is that you can serve it either cold or hot um, in the winter weather like this like what I'm experiencing right now of course a hot bowl of pulu hitam would be the best look at the steam uh, otherwise I like it to have cold so what I do is I let it chill until um, it's room temperature and then I keep it in the fridge and then serve it with uh, coconut milk so you can either have it with coconut milk or if you like um, be a little bit uh, more experimental have some ice cream so some vanilla ice cream would be really awesome with this drizzling the coconut milk onto this pulut hitam is really the last step now what i like to do is to prepare this the night before if i have guests uh, coming over the next day so uh, do not add the coconut milk into the glutinous rice um, because we have to have it separated and let the guests have the fun to add it into their uh, dessert as they wish if you love more coconut milk feel free to put on more but otherwise, separate them, leave it aside and uh, you can serve this the next day with the coconut milk uh, separately. So now I am just so happy because it has been a long time since I had this. Mmm, oh. delicious. So delicious. Let me tell you, it really makes a difference if you are using palm sugar and also um, rock sugar instead of um, the normal white sugar because um, the sweetness from the palm sugar and also the rock sugar is really very very mild so you can imagine that the taste of the uh, coconut milk is pretty strong and then the sweetness from this dessert is just so mild 
there is just this hint or this whiff of sweetness and you're gonna love this recipe remember to try it out and tell me what you think in the comment section below or as usual facebook instagram hashtag nyonya cooking when you try it i hope to see you again in the next video till then happy cooking